we recording? Uh, yes, uh, you can start by introducing yourself. Okay. It's me, Dracula! Blah. I'm just playing. It's THE Dracula. Nosferatu, Prince of Darkness, Pokal for the family back home in Romania. Transylvania! T-Town, baby! So, we all decided to move from Transylvania to a nice community in Florida. If you've never been to Florida in the summer, it feels like the nether regions of hell. You would know, right? I'm sorry, what was that? Um, I said you would know what the nether regions of hell feels like. I'm Dracula, not Satan. Uh, <laughs> um, are you guys trying to blend in to your new surroundings? Yes, yes we are. For example, I just recently joined the book club. Okay, everybody, this week's book was Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Opinions, ideas, thoughts. Amy, would you like to begin? Found it to be a great modern twist on a classic story. Thank you, Amy. Stephanie? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of thought it was, you know, very romantic. Mm -hmm. Romantic? Yeah, a little erotic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? A 465-year-old man falling in love with a high schooler. You, you don't find that a little creepy? Okay. Am I right? Mr. Dracula, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. There's opinion and then, I mean, it's not erotic. It's creepy, Stephanie. Mr. Dracula, I have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Amy. Uh, Tammy? Good day. <sighs> Dracula is a lot of things, but a pedophile he is not. I'm doing pretty well since we left Transylvania. I was started modeling. I don't get it. What, the modeling? Yeah. Isn't Dracula supposed to be the sexy one? You've seen Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula, right? Look at this. Just one big ball of hair. It's like the 70s all over again. All right, Wolfie, give me some more teeth now. Come on, let's get in there. Very good, all right, show me some chest. All right, bring it out, bring it out. There you go. Come on, let's go. You're looking great, Wolfie. You're looking great. I don't know if you heard, but I got a DUI recently. What happened? I didn't know what a blood mobile was. You know, the bus where you donate blood. Well, I smelled something cooking one day and just wandered onto one. I ended up going on a pretty heavy bender and tried to drive home. It wasn't my best moment. How are the neighbors reacting to you guys? Good. Well, there was an incident with the camp girl yesterday. Bad. Hello, would you like to buy some cookies? You can try some. Mm. Mmm! Ah! More! More cookies! More! No! More! 
they were pretty understanding about the whole ordeal. Tonight we celebrate. Just met your girl and she ready to go. Anywhere that I want to, doing everything that you don't do, and I'm gone. What are you doing? What? Wait, what do you mean? What is, what is that? Is that SPF for outside? Or is that a vampire thing? What is that? No, I mean, it's just makeup. Okay, okay. I, I sometimes like to, you know, wear makeup. That's, that's not weird, right? Everybody wears makeup, right? Alright, alright, come. Can you guys come back later? Just not, not now. Wow. You think the neighbors are starting to accept you? Yeah, I think the neighbors are starting to come around. Give me a second. I think somebody's at the door. I'll be right back. Hey there. I'm Chaz, president of the Homeowners Association. Are you Dr. Dr. Acula? Or is it Dr. Acula? Yeah, that's me. What's up? Well, we've had some complaints. See, your neighbors saw you walking your dog. And he wasn't on a leash. Wait, a dog? I, I don't have a dog. What dog? Well, see, one of your neighbors sent me this picture right here. That dog. Yeah. Listen, I know it's embarrassing. My wife dresses our dog up, too. I'll tell you what. This one, it's on the house, okay? All right, you got me. I promise I'll have him on the leash from now on. No problem. Hey, thanks, buddy. And also, if you could just get this cleaned up, That'd be great. Any, anything. Right away. You have a hat and a health thing. All right. Thanks, buddy. All See right. you next time. <laughs> hey, Wolfie. Come here, boy. Time to go for a walk. I mean, let's be honest. The Bride of Frankenstein? Hot. But for a very long time now, I've been trying to figure out what she sees in Frank. I mean, I don't get it. I mean... Ugh. Ooh, bad. I mean, what is that? Like, I don't understand. Like, how is this guy functioning? Ugh. This, this is what she likes? I'm, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Ugh. Bet Frankie. Show not over. I'll give you something better to look at. Mm. I guess it's just one of those great mysteries of the world. Frank, have you seen the remote? Watching. Frank, the remote. Frank. Frank! We go through this every night with this remote. Are you sitting on it again? 
What is this? A zucchini? Frank, how many times do I have to tell you not to eat upstairs? We have an infestation of bugs. I gotta do everything around here. Alright. Why is it stuck? What the? Well, mystery solved. So today I'm on set on a talk show called Pay Up or Shut Up. Some girl Wolfie used to go out with is trying to say that he's the father of one of her kids. Can you believe that? Do you think he's the father? Of course not. I mean, could you imagine? Look at him. He's disgusting. What? I'm just kidding. I'm here for you, buddy. And welcome back to another episode of Pay Up or Shut Up. Our next baby daddy, well, he won't even acknowledge his own son. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. He won't pay child support. He refuses to pay child support because he says the baby isn't his. <laughs> I know, but we are going to set the record straight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, Mr. Wolfman. <laughs> You know that's your baby! No! Not possible! You need to admit that's your son and start paying child support. Fair enough! Fair enough. No! No! That kid's not even mine! I'm over 400 years old. It's not possible! All right, well, hey, Mr. Wolfman, we've got a little surprise for you. Let's bring up that picture of baby Wolfgang. Bring it! Aww. Oh, hell no. No way. Doesn't even look anything like me. What do you think, folks? What do you think? Dude, that's your baby. Dude, that's your baby. That's your baby. That's your baby. baby. See, my boy Drak will tell you. It's not possible. Okay. Tell him. All right, well, let's ask your buddy. Dracula, what do you think? Do you think that baby is his? I'm sorry, man. That's 100% your kid. Oh! Oh, well, there you have it, folks. There you have it. Seriously? I told you that was your baby. I Not told you that was your baby. She did tell no you that was her baby. That's your baby. Get away from me. That's your baby. Hasn't gone to trial, but it's not looking good. The prosecutor's last name, Van Helsing. <sighs> That's a bad sign. With Wolfman being gone, we had to bring in a new roommate. The mummy decided to come join us. Freak! <laughs> Bastard. Mm. This just keeps going. Mm. Got to be kidding me, Wolfman. Hate you. He's okay.
we done here? Uh, we good? I think so. I good. Think so. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, have you seen our intern, Eric? Who? Uh, Eric, our intern. He's been carrying on a lot of stuff on the set. No, I can't say that I have. Anywhere, have you? No, dude, last time I checked, he was grabbing a quick bite. Oh, gosh. Wait, what, what the? No, 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 no. Eric, Eric, ah. no.